One versus 100 is back. On the left! And a new set of contestants will try to do what's never been done before. I didn't come here for chunk change. Win one million dollars. That is craziness. But in order to do so, they'll have to defeat the mob. You don't scare me! We've got a massive new set and an all-new money ladder that'll have contestants taking risks like never before. Knock them down! And remember, one wrong answer and you go home with nothing. Just tell me if it's right or wrong, Mr. Bob Saget. And the mob will take home the cash. Tonight, it's the battle of the sexes as one woman takes on a hundred men. I'm gonna take on the dude. And one man takes on a hundred women. And before the night is done, someone's life will be changed forever. Who will reign supreme in the battle of the sexes? Tonight, on One versus 100. what you just walked out into. Quite a scene. <laughs> Quite a scene, and now you are part of it. You know how to do this, right? I believe so. And you are from Chicago. That's correct. What street? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, and what is your life there? What do you do? I'm a dance teacher. I teach from the age of 15 months to nine years old. 15 months? Yes. The dancing 15 months? Yes. <laughs> I'm very patient. <laughs> are you ready to play? I am. Mom, are you ready? First question. Seth Rogen accidentally gets Katherine Heigl pregnant in what 2007 movie? Knocked up? Nine months? Balls of fury. Mob, please answer now. All right, two crazy talented people, Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl. He gets her pregnant in what 2007 movie? Well, I know this one, and the answer is a knockdown. All right. And the correct answer is? Yes, it's a knockdown. Let's find out how many people got that wrong. Two people. All right, she got two out. We'll see how well she got it. Want to play one versus 100 at home? Now you can with the DVD game. Get it at NBCStore.com. This is your last chance to play Mob Money for your chance to win $10,000. We asked a mob of 100 people when U.S. astronauts have a problem they call NASA in what city. Can you guess how many people got that wrong? Just use your cell phone and send a text to 29292 with the correct letter. You can vote up to 10 times. Play for free at NBC.com slash 1 versus 100. Chicago. Right. Are you uh, ready to keep going? Absolutely. All right. It's one versus 98. <laughs> Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Allison Arngram, and I played Nellie Olson on Little House on the Prairie. Laura's paw gave her a nickname. What was it? Was it A, half pint, B, milliliter, or C, 40-ouncer. All right. On Little House on the Prairie, <laughs> Lars Pa gave her a nickname. What was it? Half pint, milliliter, 40-ouncer. Mob, please answer now. Okay. You remember her from Little House on the Prairie? I absolutely do. I know for a fact that Lars Pa called her half pint. Hey. She 
says it's A, half pint. The correct answer is... Half pint. You did. Let's find out how many mob members answered that incorrectly. Two people. Number 88. Uh, hello, sir. Hi, Bob. And your name? Christopher. Your answer was what, Christopher? Milliliter. So you think that they were a metric family? <laughs> I majored in stupidity, Bob. That isn't true, but at this moment, you're majoring in omission. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> All right, then. Here comes another question. It's one versus 96. In ancient Chinese philosophy, what force opposes and complements the yang? The yin, the yen, the ying. Mob, please answer now. Are you familiar with ancient Chinese philosophy? Um, not enough to do a lecture series on it, but I believe I know the answer to this question. And what do you think that is? I believe the answer is A, the yin. A. Very good. You, you, very, you're very confident. Before we reveal the correct answer, let's find out how many people got that wrong. Forty-nine people have answered that incorrectly. If you are correct, you are going to jump to fifty thousand dollars. We're going to find out right after this. What? The mob money game is now over. Thirty-four people did not know that when U.S. astronauts have a problem, they call NASA in Houston. If you picked A34, then you have a chance to win tonight's $10,000. Stay tuned, the winner will be announced in just a few minutes. Sarah Green from Chicago. We know that 49 people got that wrong. If you are right with this answer, you're gonna jump to $50,000. That's good stuff. In ancient Chinese philosophy, what force opposes and complements the yang? You went right in and chose A, the yin. The correct answer is... Sarah, 45 people said yang. You're doing really well. One versus 47. On the logo for Domino's Pizza, how many total dots appear on the domino? Three, seven, 12. Mob, please answer now. All right, do you think you know this one? Coming from Chicago, you don't eat Domino's Pizza. So, I, I am stressed. I, I need help. Ah. All right. There are three kinds of help you can get. You can ask the mob, pull the mob, or trust the mob. I think that I would like to Pull the mob. You would like to pull the yes, mob. Yes, I would like to pull right. the mob. You're going to tell me which of those three answers you want to know more about. 
and we're going to show you how many people chose that answer. OK. Um, I'd like to know more about A. Let's find out how many people chose A3. 27 of the 47 chose A3. That's like half. It is. That could be really good or really bad. Because it's like half. Yeah. My gut told me that it was A, and I think half the people said it was A. So I'm going to either be really happy or I'm going to be absolutely devastated. You'll have to pick me up off the floor, but I'm going to say A, and that's my answer. I'm done. Wow. You had two other helps, and you chose to lock in A. Oh, I'm nauseous. And you. You put a lot at risk. You I know. I'm 50. well aware of that. I didn't mean to start an argument, but I. <laughs> but. I'm a little lightheaded. It's going to be fine. You don't feel faint, do you? A little bit. Hold the railing. Hold the railing. That's good. Lean. Do you want some water? No, just tell me if it's right or wrong, Mr. Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> You're hoping the answer is A3. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Be careful. Hold on. Yes. The correct answer is. What? It's three! Are you all right? Yeah, they both look better. I feel much better. Good, good. Green dots uh, represent the first three domino stores. That's uh, why it's uh, I'll never dots. forget that. All right, let's see how many people got that wrong. eliminated 20 people with that question. You are seven people away from a quarter of a million dollars. And you are 27 people away from one million dollars. So my question right now, oh you, my goodness. you have $100,000. Oh. You can take that money or go with the mob. I, I... Do you want the money or do you want the mob? I'm gonna take the mob. Yeah. She's gonna take the mob. Sarah Green has two helps left. She's got hundred thousand dollars. Twenty-seven mob members away from one million dollars. Her battle with the mob continues next time on One versus One Hundred. Congratulations to tonight's ten thousand dollar mob money winner. Last time on One versus One Hundred. Sarah Green, a children's dance instructor, knocked out 73 mobsters for $100,000 and then decided to risk it all. That is craziness. Now, if she stays calm, she could walk away with $1 million. That is ridiculous. But in order to win, she'll have to take on the mob. What's the mob? This is one versus 100. Richard Rubin, the Dom Sisters. Hi, Bob. Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. Right on. You guys are all good? Yeah. We are right in the middle of a game. We're going to bring out our player who has knocked out 73 of her opponents. She's sitting on $100,000, and she has two helps left. Please welcome back to Chicago, Illinois, Sarah Green. They are not happy. You've been doing pretty well. I, well, I think so, yeah. You are seven people away from $250,000 and 27 away from $1 million. Sarah. Yes. You right now have $100,000. Are you ready? I am. Mob, are you ready? Yeah. OK. 
Okay, then it's one versus 27. Here we go. Which political figure has had no less than four heart attacks? Bill Clinton, Dick Cheney, John McCain. Mob, please answer now. All right, you've got to choose between Bill, Dick, and John. All right, which political figure has had no less than four heart attacks? No less than would mean that they've had at least four. So I'm going to say the answer is B, Dick Cheney. Okay, you've got $100,000 at risk right now. Yes, I do. She says it's Dick Cheney B. The correct answer is... Really well done. Okay, you are seven people away from a quarter of a million dollars right now. Let's find out how many people got this wrong. All right, two people. You are holding at $100,000. You are five people away from a quarter of a million dollars. You got $100,000. That's a lot of money. That is craziness. Is that? That's crazy. That's, uh... Sarah, I have to ask you, do you want the money or do you want the mob? Sarah, you still have two hubs left. My grandpa always said... She wants to tell me about her grandpa. Grandpa Sam, he's about 92. We don't know when he was born. He's about 92 years old. And he says that people always say one more question. And right now he's so angry at me because I'm going to take the mob. Yeah. Wow. It's one versus 25. Knocked out 75 people, and here's your next question. When Paul McCartney yells at his famous fashion designer daughter, what does he say? Adrian, Stella, Elaine. That was great. <laughs> Bob, please answer now. All right, Sarah. Yes. When Paul McCartney yells at his famous fashion designer daughter, what does he say? What does he say? Um, this is my gut instinct, and I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to say that he says Stella B. You're risking a hundred thousand dollars on your gut instinct. Uh huh. And my grandpa is so angry right now. He's curled up in his little twin bed, shaking, cursing at me right now. Four-letter words you've never even heard of. Well, I would, I would love to talk to him then. All right. You went with your gut, and you chose B, Stella. Yes. The correct answer is... You are five people away from a quarter of a million dollars. Okay, let's find out how many people got that incorrect. Right. You just knocked out eight people. You have $250,000. You have a quarter of a million dollars. Hold on to here. You still have two helps left, Sarah. You are seven people away from half a million dollars. That is ridiculous. And you are 17 people away from one million dollars. It's a big decision. There's a lot of money on the line. And we'll find out what Sarah's going to do right after this. Sarah, you 
can walk out of here right now yes. with a quarter of a million dollars. Yes. But you're seven people away right now from half a million dollars. That's ridiculous. Some more, ladies and gentlemen. Some more is here. Hey, yes. some more. Comedian. Now, Sarah, you look, you look like a really smart girl. But you're used to working with kids, and we're grown people here. I suggest you take your money and go home. Charity, I'd want you to win, but I want your money. I am oh, All right, well, Sarah, it's that time to make your next decision. You got two helps. You can walk out of here right now with a check for a quarter of a million dollars. Oh my god, look it's at It's real. Ah, it's a quarter of a million dollars, and it's it's real. Okay. Or you can continue to go on. I know your grandpa right now is. Oh, he's dying. Can you call him? Like, call him and tell him it's going to be okay. When we're all done, we'll connect. Yeah. But at the moment, you need to decide. Do you want the money or do you want the mob? Sarah, you still have two helps left. left. I used to be a dancer and my first big dance audition, I was number 17. And my grandpa is going to be so happy to have the best bed he has ever slept on in his entire life. So I'm going to go home. Gonna take the money. Wow, you have the grudge, the mom. Player to take on the mob. Please welcome from Los Angeles, California, Eric Smart. <laughs> <laughs>